and welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Wow, we're at Vlogmas Day 21, I can't believe it. Christmas is just around the corner. I'm not really sure why that happens. You think you've got everything in check and then it just kind of sneaks up and it's there. Um, I think everybody in our house has been really unwell, just like the rest of the country probably, for a little while now with this strep, A in everybody's throats and um, I've had a really bad lower respiratory infection so um, December has kind of been obliterated by things like that. Um, so I have wanted to do a Christmas Eve, Christmas Day makeup for you for a few years now so I wanted to do that today um, rather than a vlog. So I'm really happy that this vlog because I've managed to get a few makeups up which has sort of made me happy. It's still been a really busy one and I know I haven't got as many vlogs up as I wanted that's because I haven't been really doing that many festive days and there's still a couple to go up including our one at Heath Castles so hopefully you've seen that but I wanted to do this look so this look is going to be for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day it's going to be really simple and easy and it's going to be a get re get ready with me um and then we'll go through stuff at the end but it's it's you know Christmas makeup can be so pretty but it doesn't need to be really in depth or take a really long time because who's got a lot of time on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day so it's just meant to look really ethereal lovely flawless skin lovely glow to it um, probably a red lip kind of working it out as I go um, and probably a neutral eye because I want to go for the red lip so yeah that's that's the kind of the plan so so let's do this Christmas Eve Christmas Day makeup um, and then maybe at the end I can show you my favorite red lipsticks at the moment um, yeah, so come with me, let's uh, get ready for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, whatever plans you've got. This look is going to be suitable for any plans that you've got, whether it's just throwing on a Christmas jumper or something a little bit more dressy, um, either going to the pub with your friends or your family or your loved ones, um, or, you know, doing stuff with the kids, going to a nativity, going to a church service, going to a carol concert, um, going out to dinner, going out for a festive Christmas date night like we're about to. Um, so hope you enjoy it guys let's get ready with me christmas eve christmas day edition <laughs> so first things first i have as always uh, done my skincare so at the minute today that was um clarins double wear <laughs> that was clarins double serum eye and face serum then i have used the um l'oreal actually revitalift it's it's really good for re uh, dehydrated skin at this time of year it just really gives quite packs of quite a punch of hydration and i i do really like it um so i've gone revitalift l'oreal day cream um eye cream i have got bobby brown repair eye cream um on top of the clarins serum and then their vitamin enriched face base as my primer as always so let's start with our base so first things first i'm going to be going for a dewy glowy foundation today so i'm going to go for nars sheer glow and at the minute i'm wearing light one which is oslo so sheer glow is a beautiful glowy dewy foundation i used to love it a lot but since i've been poorly i'm getting a lot of high color on my cheeks which i'm prone to but it just it's a medium coverage sheer to medium so it can take a lot of building up but it is such a pretty foundation so it's going to take a little bit of time to get there so bear with me um if you're looking for something a little bit more coverage i would go to something else At, i've also been really enjoying airbrush flawless foundation from charlotte tilbury and i've gone back to absolutely loving bobby brown's um skin foundation stick uh for coverage it's just and quickness quick quickness it's, it's fantastic um but today I want all the glow for Christmas, so I'm going to use the Sharp. I want all the glow for Christmas this time, so I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow. Oslo may be a little light for me, we will see. I, I sort of flip between Oslo and Mont Blanc, so we'll see. But um, yeah, base, let's go. So concealer, okay so I've done my base, um, I'm not going to put any powder on at this moment in time, I may do to set it but I do want that dewy look so maybe just a little. I'm going to go in my concealer, I'm going to go in my concealer which is my favourite at the minute which is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer and that's the shade 1C Light Cool. I'm going to 
add a little bit of powder because it's going to be probably quite a long day so I'm going to go with my usual Bobbi Brown nude finish illuminating powder now at the minute I do like tra um, loose translucent powder as well but I just don't have the time to play around with it right now so I'm just going to use the compact which is the nude finish illuminating powder in bare um, but I have been really liking the Hourglass Mineral Veil and um, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder a lot as well. Um, so I'm just going to pop it on the areas that I want to set really, so just around my nose and my eyes and things like that. Okay, so that's my base done. So I've just put a little bit of powder on, just on the areas I want to set, like my nose and my, my basically my T-zone, uh, but not the cheeks, because I want that glow. I'm going to do a very quick contour. So I'm going to use Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour. I love this product. That is just number one curvy contour. So just push it up and basically draw where you want to do it so I do this very rudimental bit of contouring here tiny amount really nothing fussy and then I just take a kabuki brush and blend to my cheeks I'm going to use Bobbi Browns I'm using it in a palette form uh, Bobbi Browns medium bronzing powder I'm just going to take it on their big bronzing brush just a general sweep tap off the excess and then just sweep it across my cheeks quite generously just because I think I need a little bit of warmth to give me that glamorous look really in the winter um, and because I want this the lipstick to be the standout but I do want the skin to look absolutely flawless so I'm not normally an overly bronzy person but every now and again it needs it next I'm going to use a cream blush um, I'm going to use my favourite Stila, um, this is their Complete Harmony Lip and Cheek Stick, um, which is a cream blush, and they have them in a variety of colours, but I love them. So I'm just going to go for Sheer Lilium for this one, um, just because I want it to be, I want the lipstick to be the main colour standing out here. So I'm just going to add it to the apple of the cheeks, I'm going to give quite a bit of colour. and then I'm just gonna blend. Next I'm gonna go back to a Bobbi Brown blush again and I'm gonna use um, Desert Pink. Um, so I like to double blush, especially when I've got a long day ahead. So just on an angled blusher brush, just a small amount and just kiss the cheeks gently. Just where you were before, just very gentle, soft strokes. Just give it a little bit more depth. That looks a little bit much at the minute, so I'm just gonna give it a little blend. There we go. So next I'm gonna do highlighter. Sometimes I do it at the end, sometimes I do it now. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty, and it is the Summer Highlights Palette. I think this is beautiful. And I'm gonna use, um, a mix of Copacabana and Malibu on the cheeks and maybe a bit of saint on the nose, I think.
some mascara done so we are very nearly there you know i don't think i need the lashes for this look so that it's such a good volumizing mascara so yeah highly recommend that so that is the huge lash still a huge extreme lash mascara in black obviously because i don't really wear any other color um next i'm going to do my lips now lips first things first no i better better talk to you first i think I can't find my lipstick it will be in a handbag somewhere so my all-time favorite lipstick has got to be bobbi brown luxe lip parisian red i'm pretty sure i've used it in videos for you in the past probably for christmas i definitely had it last weekend in heva i can't find it right now so it's probably in a handbag or a coat pocket somewhere but i love it so that would be my normal go-to but so i wanted to show you some of my other ones that i'm loving at the moment so we've got um nars uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. Now this was an odd one for me because I don't really like matte lipstick um, but I do love the colour of this. It is a little bit more blue on me because I've got quite purpley lips um, than it looks on the colour but it is very pretty. Um, another, if you just want to go really light, I love the um, crushed liquid lip from Bobbi Brown and that is in Big Apple so that would be a full-on glossy lip but it would be quite light if you just had it on its own quite often I will put that as a gloss over the Lux Lip Parisian Red they also I also love their Lux Lip Metro Red um, I love their um, Nourishing Lip in Poppy one I've used quite a lot in the videos um, at the minute I'm loving Steamer um, again, a rare change for me. So uh, the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Um, I used this at Halloween on my sister-in-law. And this is Besso. Um, it's quite an orangey red for me. But I love the element of it lasting all day for certain events. Um, so that comes in quite handy, especially if you've got a long day ahead. Ruby Woo by MAC probably a favourite um, for a long time. I use their lip liner in Ruby, Ruby Woo a lot. Um, last year I got this for Christmas. This is the Stila uh, Shine Fever Lip Vinyl. And that was spectacular. That was a pretty long last, but keeps the shine glossy, long last glossy lip. It's very bold. Um, you need to watch, don't wear white, <laughs> and watch your coat and scarf and things like that. Um, but it packs a punch and it's beautiful. Um, however, I think what I'm going to wear is an old lipstick. Now, I don't know if they still do it. Um, so it's Rouge in Love by Lancome. And this was 181N. And it is a full-on pillar box red. It's full-on pillar box red. Yeah, so that's 181N Rouge and Love. So probably, I'm, I'm concerned they don't do it anymore. Um, what else have we got? If you're looking to do um, drugstore stuff, works pretty well. Uh, so the Beetlejuice X Revolution um, makeup that came out for Halloween. So this was the Lydia lipstick. Used this for Halloween. That was very good. Again, quite matte for me. This is a, another one I like. This is Clinique. Um, and that's Cherry Pop. It's a little sheer for me today. Oh, I haven't used this one yet. This is a L'Oreal Colour Riche Carmen Saint Germain. Might be a bit too brick red for today, but very pretty. So I think I am going to go for the Lancome just because I love it so much. So first I'm gonna line with the Ruby Woo MAC lip liner. Lex, play Art Christmas. Alexa, play Heart Christmas. Heart Christmas from Global Player. I just realised I've been trying to figure out why it looks so strange. Uh, it's because I've got a spot there. So the lipstick does, it's not sort of sitting right. Um, I'm going to use the crushed lip 
crushed so I am going to use a bit of gloss I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown crushed liquid lip okay guys so there is the makeup look done I'm just going to go and get dressed for Christmas there we go that's the look done and I think it really matches the the sweater that I'm wearing really well this is from M & Co and it's my my sort of alternative Christmas jumper this year had to have a red um, so I'm probably gonna wear this on Christmas Day to be comfortable and then maybe for Boxing Day I've got something a little bit more glamorous um, which is from Bon Marche funny enough often seen as a um, for slightly older generations but I've had some really pretty sparkly tops in there this year so I'm wearing Bon Marche and I'm not sorry to say it um, it's a really nice red, red lace um, top but yes yeah, so this is from M & Co who I've just loved forever but this season their Christmas jumpers and their going out wear has just been spectacular um, and I've just sort of straightened my hair I think I'll keep it that simple this year maybe so either some black velvet leggings or some trousers or maybe even a black pleated skirt maybe um, and then some pearls maybe in my ears but yeah just keep it simple this year with the same as the makeup always got to finish with a spritz of my favourite which is Chanel number no. 5 So I think that's the look done guys, um, so we used the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, Benefit Brows with Gimme Brow, um, and a little bit of the Precisely My Brow, both shade 5, brow lamination by the lovely um, Brow Clinic Winchester, the lovely Helen, um, highly highly recommend. My hair is a lovely mocha colour for Christmas, so sort of, a, sort of a, a deep chocolate really, with a few lights through it still from the summer. Um, so I'm just wearing my hair down, I've just GHD'd it just have my greys covered by my fantastic stylist Vicky who's done a great job as always um, so sheer glow foundation benefit brows on the eyes was kitten um, shadow on the lid and under the brows and just in the corner from Stila and then the um, NARS Artigo glow palette um, so just a brown in the crease and then I have used the Stila stay all day um, liner in intense black just on the top lash line, nothing on the bottom. Their huge lash mascara from Stila. Um, contour stick was Bobby. No, contour stick was Clinique. Powder was Bobby. Nude finish. Contour stick was Clinique. Bronzer was medium bronze from Bobby Brown. Shillilium was the colour of the um, cream blush from Stila, which is the che cheek and lipstick. Um, so that's from Stila. That's their cream brush, and that was. That was, their clean, that was their cream blush that was in Sheer Lillian. Um and then I've just used Desert Pink blush to top that up, double blush from Bobbi. Um, on my lips is Ruby Woo lip liner with the um, Rouge and Love from Lancome 181N, don't know if you can still get it but they will have something very similar so a very pillar box red and on top of that I've got the crushed liquid lip from Bobbi Brown in Big Apple. And the highlighter was the Ste uh, Huda Summer Highlights Palette, and I use Copacabana, Malibu, and Saint Tropez. So keeping it really neutral, and I'm I'm going to fix it all. So I'm going to fix it all now with um, Urban Decay All Nighter fixing spray. Knock it all down. Really glowy, really dewy, which is what I wanted. Um, and I'm really happy with that Christmas jumper and we're ready to go so still got the festive vibes oh and the stone um, stone vibes palette from uh, Urban Decay just pressed onto the lid which was the tiger's eye which is just really pretty and gives that little hint of sparkle um, if I'd wanted to I probably could have thrown some of the glitter and glow um, from Stila follow the sun that's one I've been loving at the minute lovely and golden I love their Kitten Karma it's probably my favourite um, and Smouldering Satin Diamond Dust I love them all but I think I'm going to save them for New Year when I go big big with the glitter um, so yeah guys that is my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day makeup look done I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas I hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas this year I've really enjoyed doing it um, as far as I can with being so poorly at the moment um, but it's been fun to get some makeups finally done for you and up um, but do follow me over on Instagram. So that is Daniela Logan Makeup has changed. So my Instagram name is now at 
chronically underscore breathless MUA and then there's my medieval underscore university gal one as well for medieval things so do follow me over there for more makeup beauty skincare plus size fashion foodie gastronomy my little life <laughs> everything me really um lots and lots of makeup but yeah I want to wish you all a really Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful time. I hope you dig into your makeup and create some really pretty looks. Be adventurous or just go for something really simple. Just make sure it pops, make sure it glows and just make sure you sparkle the way through the season. Um, you're never too old for sparkle, don't let anybody tell you that. I'm nearly 40 and I will be wearing sparkle probably till the day I die. Probably. But yes, always sparkle, especially at this time of the year. Thanks for watching, guys. I've really enjoyed doing this. I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh Over the fields we go, laughing all the way